Hey guys, alright. So I got a half a day of school today, which is pretty cool. And um, I went to, uh, I had lunch with my girlfriend because on half days we don't get lunch at school, obviously. Well, I'm not sure that's obvious for other schools, but we don't. And um, yeah, it was parent teacher conferences, and they're like, you know what, let's have a half day because we normally do on parent teacher conferences, days like that. So me and my girlfriend, we went out to Taco Bell and had a nice little lunch, which was all good. And then I came to my mom's house, today is Thursday, BTW, and I was like, I'm in a good mood, I'm going to do reviews. So, yes, the lunch with my girlfriend put me in a good mood. And it's my bro, Zach. Yeah. I'll text him later on. Anyway, um, that put me in a good mood, so I'm like, I'm gonna do some reviews. So here I have the American Power Ranger Samurai Megazord, and the next uh, review will be the Claw Zord. So we'll get him later. Let's get to the Samurai Megazord. So you got the five main Zords here. There is no origami modes or the emblem tablet mode, as people call them. No origami modes is what they're supposed to be. There is no origami modes except for pink. You can kind of get her to do it because of her jointing. There you go. So if you're a fan of the pink ranger or Shinken pink, then you can have her a little origami without having to buy the Japanese import. That was not intentional. Anyway, but these others do not have the origami mode, origami mode, origami modes, which was stupid. Uh, I'm sure Bandai had the budget to do it, but they just didn't want to. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they maybe they, have, they didn't have the budget, but it's pretty shameful. But they uh, don't have it. Well, let's go ahead and uh, start from left to right here, or right to left. Let's get out of the way. So here's the lion, um, Red Ranger Zord, obviously, or Shinken Red Shishi Origami. Here's lion mode, it's pretty cool. Um, no visibility except for the transformation joints, which would be here, 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 and here. All those mouth, oh yeah, and uh, here, that doesn't really count. And then mouth, you can open and close. Exciting. Although he's, he's nice looking, I mean, he looks like the Shishi Origami. He's, he has a dead solid stance. Oh, damn. Try again. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright. I don't know what that was for, but. It's pretty cool. You can see the uh, the fire symbol on top cut off because of the transformation. Um, but on the sides, you can see the other missing sections of the uh, emblem, but they're not painted, which is yay. Come on, Plaz bro. Could have done that. Um, it's going to Ryu Origami. The Dragon Zord, but not the cool one, MMPR. This just sucks. I mean, this was. Pretty. I mean, come on, this was pretty faithful to the Japanese version, despite a couple of American cop outs, but this is nothing like the Japanese version. <sighs> um, first of all, one the main thing that really pisses me off is the emblem, the water symbol, the uh, water, water kanji, that's what I meant to say, fire kanji, water kanji. Um, you can see the sculpting for it's there. If I fold him in half, you can see that the kanji for water, if I can get the light to... There we go. Maybe that's a fault. That's not going to help at all. Um, you can see the, the kanji on there, but it's not painted. It's not on the other side. It's just a weird design, but... What the hell? That's fucking stupid. They could, They still could have painted that. But instead of having this octagon shape, not an all mist form like that, but the octagon uh, like folding out into the awesome looking dragon, they just made this. 
which is pretty stupid looking. At least it has little feet, little feeties. He has nice looking. I like the head. It needs some more paint though. Um, mouth does open, and close, and the tail's the sword, which is obvious on Power Rangers and Transformers alike. Tail becomes a sword, or sword becomes tail. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the bear folding sword, or the kuma origami. Um, again, I'm going to fold up his legs. Oh, I don't have to fold up this side, but I did because I'm OCD like that. You can see the kanji for wood is there, or force, whatever the fuck you're going to call it. It's the kanji for wood, damn it. But it's not painted. Again, this is on the other side, but what the fuck? You still could have painted that. So I might go in there later on for blue and uh green and paint in the kanji just because I want it to look somewhat like the show. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the dragon's close ability, mouth can open and close, I showed you. I can go up and down and this, but that don't count. You does the head. Well, no, the head can count. He can look up. Bear's close ability, he can look up and he can open and close his mouth, I think. Yeah, he can open and close his mouth. And his arms can go, eh. and these legs can go, eh. yeah, what well, is This is the ape zord, as America calls it. This is such a fucking monkey. Although there is no tail, so it's probably supposed to be an ape, but it's too small and too fucking adorable to be an ape. Call it a monkey. It was a monkey in Japan, so. Fuck it, it's a monkey. Um, missing a lot of paint. A lot of black paint on the face would have helped. On the eyebrows up here and around the trim of the face, that would have really helped. But whatevs. He has the most posability, as the arms can go, both arms can go 360 and go up. Hey, look, it's an arm. And down. Look, it's the arm. Um, again, no one would move. Any of these. Except for this little guy, or, or girl, or chick, or whatever the fuck this is. The turtle zord. Yeah, I can totally do it on the mode, but I already showed you that. But, um, yeah. She can... Flippers. Hold her up. Shit. Yay. Yeah, this one's the most faithful to the, to the Japanese counterpart. Alright, so starting with Kame Origami or the Turtle Zord, like a tortoise or a sea turtle, but fuck it, whatevs. We're gonna go ahead and uh, transform it into the Megazord arm for the Shinkano or the Samurai Megazord. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna fold these fins in down here, open it up like I just did like, 30, like 2 seconds ago, fold the head in, twist the fist around down here, you got an arm. For the monkey, the Saru Origami, bring her arms down to her side and flip it above her head. Whoops. They go together to the top and make the other arm. Kame or Kuma Origami or the Bear Zord, just fold up all of his legs like you saw me do. And then push his head up with the leg. The dragon, take the tail out, which can pretty much fall out by itself. So, whatever. Press this button to drop the helmet out. Hold him in half like you saw me do, and push his head up like you saw me do. And there you go. With a lion, like you saw me do earlier. I said that like five times. Push his legs up. Flip these front legs back. Use that transformation joint right there. And then get your nail in there and flip up the Megazord head. Green, right there. Blue, right there. Back him up some. Right. I'm in here with the big sword, right there, and right here. Got the helmet, flip up, flip up the head crest, click the depot on top, and slide the sword in the sheath. And there is the Samurai Megazord, looking pretty bad nice. I mean, this is really nice looking. It's got the same kind of aesthetics as 
Aesthetics, blah blah blah. <laughs> As the uh, MMPR 2010 Exord, which I did own, except my dad threw it away. Thank you, father. Douche. Dick. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I like opening this. This is fun. It's like, um, Dragon Kick. Wow. And it's got those nice aesthetics with the skinnier looking proportions, and it looks a lot better. And this is fun to do. I like this clicky sound. Love that sound. That's for the Hot Tiger Zord that we plug into. I'm going to work on getting the auxiliaries from ToysRUs.com. I'm going to work on it. Pull out the die shin can. Oh, just kidding. The die shin can or whatever it is. I don't, I don't think it even has a name in America. But whatever the sword. Which is, mine was just completely warped out of the box. You can see how oh, bendy this is. I mean, look up here. Yeah. This, this thing is a, a damn noodle. And, yeah. It's got some cool um, inscriptions on it. The one that's on the Daishinken in Japan. Animals breathing the fire. Lion, dragon, turtle, monkey, and bear. I mean, lion, dragon, bear, monkey, and turtle. So, cool. Posability, nothing in the legs except, you know, that. Um, arms can rotate 360, pretty much what all mecha do and mecha swords. Whoops, ah, oh, shit. As a size comparison, oh, there's a claw sword in lobster mode. Uh, uh, let me get something else. Let's get the High Octane Megazord from Goanger or RPM two years ago. Well, I count two years ago because MMPR 2010. But 2010 MP um, MMPR is what I need to say. Uh, about the same, roughly the same height. So it's nice if you want to get the American version to go along with your other American version of that. Let's get him with the uh, 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 RPM Red Ranger. There we go. Yeah, that's a size comparison. And uh, the P10. All right. Thank you. So, that's that. Nice looking Megazord once it's complete, but the Zords individual kind of suck. Individually, kind of suck. That's fun. Um, that was cool. But, um, yeah, he's, he's cool. Um, this is the re release I got where the legs come separate, like in the box. Do I put a solid box in there somewhere? Uh, it just shows like top half, and these two are in leg mode, like under some cardboard down here, where the first release of it just the window showed the complete Megazord fully assembled. And I think the re-release, it was the one with the, act the sword actually clicks into the hand. Hear that? The other one just kind of sat in there, but this one clicks. Uh, maybe that's just mine, or maybe yeah, it's on all of them, I don't know. It's so fun to do. So yeah, this guy. Um, a good substitute for the American for the Japanese version, but uh, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a it's an okay substitute for the Japanese version if you can't afford it, which um, I can't afford it, but I don't feel like getting more stuff from Japan and it not showing up in my door. I am working on getting a, a Go Buster, the, new, the newest Sentai, um, Red Buster set with a Cheetah Nick bike thing. I'm trying to work on that. It's coming from Japan, but I'm going to try. So, next we're going to do the Claw Zord. So, tune for that in the video. Coming up next, I guess.